carry us on through. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. We will I am so glad to see each and every one of you today. And I'm so glad we made it here safely. Um, do we have any visitors today? Well, <laughs> well, what we would like to do, what I like to do is welcome everyone here um, back to church again. And, and um, would like to say that um, we started off with a cold morning this morning, but we have warm hearts. Thank you. <laughs> um, and we're so glad. All right. Thank you. I'm loud. <laughs> what we want us to do is um, tell you about the upcoming uh, church events. Um, we have services each uh, Sunday morning at 9.30, Morning Glory, Sunday morning Bible teaching class at 10 o'clock, Sunday morning worship service at 11 a.m. And we have communion each first Sunday of every month. We have our pastor's love offering the third Sunday of each month. Like I said, my pastor, our pastor, is not a paid pastor. So we would like to uh, just show him some love the third Sunday of each month. Yeah. Get one of those little purple envelopes and set aside something to give to him. And give it from your heart. The Lord will bless you more abundantly. Hallelujah. And on the third Sunday of each month, there's a ministerial staff meeting after each service. Amen. Amen. On Wednesday night, we have Bible teaching and preaching night at 630. Amen. Now, you think you have good service on Sunday. Come on Wednesday Amen. night. Amen. We have a wonderful time. Yes. And... Um, uh, we, we have some upcoming birthdays, but not yet. But anyway, we would like to thank you all for coming. Please come again. I look forward to seeing y'all on Wednesday night. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's clap those hands and tell the Lord thank you. Yeah. Tell him thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't know about you. But God is still good. Yeah. Tell somebody else, God is still good. God is still good. Even in my spirit. Even in my spirit. God is still good. Yeah. As we make ready now for our word, let us look at hymn 62. No, not one. As we stand all over this house and, yeah. and begin to be ready to reverence the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is still good yes. all the time. Yes. God is good. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. In this place. Yes, Jesus. There's not a friend like the Lord with Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Not as good No, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide us till the day is done. Let not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, not one. Him 62. No, not one. And yet no friend is so meek and holy. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide us till the day is done. There's not a friend like the Lord Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. There's not an out that he No, not one. No, not one. No night so 
Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide us till the day is done. That not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide us till the day is done. That not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Come on and put those hands together and tell the Lord thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him no, not one. No, not one. Not even one. Not even one. Like the lonely Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm happy. Yes. Amen. And glad to know. Yes. That no one is like the lonely Jesus. Anybody here? Yes. And know that you know that you know. Yes. No, I'm not like him. Yes. You want to be able to sing that to the glory of God. Yes. None like him. Like Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. Yes, he is. Father God, now as we make our way to this word, asking you to have mercy upon every person here, God. And even those that are not here that desire to be here, God, ask that you have mercy upon them, God, and yes, uh, give them favor even right now, God, that everything is going to be all right yes, and everything is well. And God, as we yes, come God. now and bring this word and you bring it alive in us, God, that yes. somebody could get a word to us this morning, yes. God. Somebody, yes. God, can be lifted by this word, yes. God. And I, I pray right now, God, that the benefit is about to come now. And God, forgive us even right now as we go forth, God, to bring this word alive, God. Somebody need to hear and know that there is hope, God, that it won't be this way always, that your divine presence, God, is about to bless them like never before. And God, we'll be careful to give you all the glory, the honor, God, and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Philippians, the first chapter oh, of this said text. As I greet each of you in the presence of the Lord, that everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. well, let's read the third uh, verses down through number eight. Let's see what the Lord has for the house of Philippians, the first chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving God all the praise and give you all the mercy. Mm. Hey, Amen. Right there. Amen. Let's begin to read that verse. One of our ministers. Amen. Amen. Paul and Timothy, servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Jesus Christ at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, I thank my God every time I remember you in all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from this day, from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who begun a good work in you yes. will carry it on to completion mm -hmm. until the day of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. It is right for me to feel this way about you since I have you in my heart. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Whether I am in chains or defending or confirming the gospel, mm -hmm. all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how long, how I long for all of you with the affection of Jesus Christ. Amen. That sixth verse again says, be in confidence of this very thing. My God. That he who has begun a good work in you will complete it. Un 
until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, certainly with the aid of the Holy Ghost, I, I want to teach and preach this morning this message uh, entitled, somebody said, we get ready to have the message. We get ready to have a message. Tell somebody, we get ready to have a message. We get ready to have a message. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Neighbor. Forget it. Forget it. It takes time. It takes time. Tell somebody else, forget it. Forget it. It takes time. It takes time. Take your seats. People of God, we must understand that in Jesus there is no overnight secret. Amen. Amen. In Jesus, there's no right now. That's it. Total benefit. That's it. But your heart can. And your mind can benefit from his presence Amen. even right now. Yes. Yes. And that's why it takes time. Yes. God Almighty. Amen. There are no shortcuts to maturity. Amen. There are no shortcuts Amen. to the presence of Jesus Christ. Amen. It takes time. Amen. It takes some years for many of us to grow to adulthood, mm. it takes full season for fruit to mature and even ripen. Yes, yes. Uh, just imagine this morning and you had apples or plums hanging on a tree. That's all you have. Amen. You will have no productive fruits. Mm. Amen. In other words, sometimes you're going to go through some seasons in your yes, life yes. that's going to be frustrated. Yes broken and busted yes. and even fumbled. I can't hear nobody. Yes. You're going to go through some seasons that, that's just not your year. Yes. Uh, every year won't be your year. Every year yes. cannot be yes. your year yes. because there will come a time when God wants to put you in the corner for maturity. I don't care how Hallelujah. many times you said I'm mature and everything is alright. It is not alright. Oh, yes. oh, yes. That's why you have to understand that it takes can't be like this one. You can't be like yeah. that one. I uh, see the same is true for the fruits of the spirit. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the development of Christ-like character cannot be rushed. Spiritual growth, like physical growth, takes time. Take when you try to ripen fruit quickly, it loses its flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah tell somebody it loses its flavor. Uh, even in our country, America, tomatoes are usually picked unripened so that they won't bruise during the shipping. Uh -huh. During the shipping time, they, in other words, they bring them in pre-existence. in Somebody say glory to God. Uh, that's to protect them. Many times, God will put you in a position that you're not ripened uh, and you don't understand what's going on. That's to protect you from the enemy, huh? uh, to protect you from evil doers, and to protect you from evil work, because everybody ain't always happy about your maturity. Everybody don't want to see you grow up. Everybody don't want to see you develop. Everybody don't want to see God's grace upon you. I don't care how long you've known them. They don't want to see the finished product. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They will always keep you manipulated yes. into a cloud that doesn't represent God. Yes, sir. Anybody here this morning? Yes, yes, yeah, we must understand even these particular tomatoes, before they are sold, somebody said in the chemical area that green tomatoes are sprayed with some kind of uh, CO2, uh -huh, which is a gas to turn them Red instantly, uh huh. And sometimes when God get ready to give you a miracle, he'll, he'll do it instantly when he's ready. Uh -huh. uh, listen, I don't care how long you've been through the storm. When he gets ready to bless you. Ain't no man can stop it. When he get ready to spray upon you, he'll do it instantly. He'll, he'll, he'll give you your miracle instantly. So uh, don't try to get big and bad that you already got what you need. Uh -huh. But when you learn how to 
and trust in God, when you learn how to put it in his hand, when you learn how to turn it over to him, uh -huh, uh, he'll do what he needs to do. Uh -huh. uh, we must stay in our position. We must stay in our lane and let God bless us. We must stay encouraged uh -huh, and know that weeping may endure for a night, uh -huh, but joy cometh in the morning. We don't have a witness here tonight. This evening, this morning, whatever it is to you. See, when we worry about fast growth, God is concerned about how strong we grow. God views our lives from within to the eternal life. So he will never be in a hurry. The reason God will never be in a hurry. He doesn't want you to become hurt. Yeah. Doesn't want you to become the straw. He wants you to be encouraged. Yeah. And know that God still loves you so much so. Uh -huh. yeah. No man can hurt you. No man can take God's hands upon you. Uh -huh. yeah. But when God is ready to bring you out, uh -huh, yeah. uh, he'll bring you out with so much grace and even mercy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do I have a witness here? Uh -huh. Can we understand you you can't be a worry warrior? Uh -huh. When God puts you in a position, uh -huh, yeah. you got to learn to take charge within your own energy. Uh -huh. yeah. And tell the Lord, Lord, I'll stay where I am uh -huh, uh, until you finish blessing me. Uh -huh. yeah. See the God that we serve will never get in a hurry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because if he get in a hurry, he's doing it like man wants him to do it. Uh -huh. um, but we serve a God, an almighty God, uh -huh, that can do whatever he wants to. Uh -huh. Whenever he wants to. Uh -huh. And however he wants to. Uh -huh. We must understand uh -huh, that none of us have arrived in our own energy or strength. Uh -huh. But by the working of the Lord, uh -huh, and it will take some so much discipline uh -huh, for him to process who we are. Uh -huh. uh, the Bible says we arrive uh -huh, at real maturity. Uh -huh. That measures of development uh, which is meant uh -huh, by the fullness of Christ. Uh -huh. In other words, Christ likeness in your eventual uh -huh, destination, uh -huh, but your journey will last for a lifetime. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know about you, uh -huh. uh, so far we've seen this journey uh -huh, uh, involves believing uh -huh, uh, through worship, uh -huh, belonging through fellowship. Uh -huh. Becoming through discipleship. Uh -huh. uh, every day, God wants you to become a little more like Him. Uh -huh. uh, you have begun to live the new life in uh -huh. which you are being made new. Uh -huh. And you are becoming like the one He made you. Uh -huh. See, you got to stop looking at me, uh -huh. and I got to stop looking at you. Uh -huh. We got to start looking at God uh -huh. and ask God what you want me to do, uh -huh. uh, who would you have me to be, uh -huh. uh, what you would have me to be. Uh -huh. I see the problem here, Sister Queen, uh -huh, is everybody trying to be like somebody else. Uh -huh. But I want you to know, uh -huh, when God does what he do, uh -huh, uh, he does it greater uh -huh, than anything else. Uh -huh. See, I don't know about you this morning, uh -huh, but I'm waiting for my own benefit. Because uh -huh, God promised me uh -huh, that everything uh -huh, was going to be all right through his hands. Uh -huh. So if I got God's hands, uh -huh, uh, what do I need with your hands? Uh -huh, Cause your hands are incomplete. Uh -huh. God's hands are complete. Uh -huh. When God lays His hands upon me, uh -huh, He changes the whole world. Uh -huh. The world for me, not to you. Uh -huh. Cause my world is my world, uh -huh. and your world is your world. Uh -huh. And you must understand, uh -huh, it takes time uh -huh, for God to benefit. Uh -huh. You wonder why we can't do this. Uh -huh. You wonder why I can't do that. Because uh -huh. I'm waiting on the Lord. Uh -huh. 
If you ever learn how uh, to wait on the Lord, uh, and not only wait on Him, uh, but be encouraged uh, that everything uh, is going to come out all right. Uh, see, I've learned with you and I, uh, uh, we don't worry about where we are. Uh, uh, we just afraid uh, of what the future holds. Uh, uh, we afraid uh, of repeat yesterday. Uh, but I come here to tell you, uh, you should have kicked yesterday uh, uh, to the curb uh, and told the devil, uh, this is the last relationship uh, that I'm having with you. Uh, Cause I got a God uh, that it takes time uh, to wait on my God. Uh, and I'm going to wait right here. Uh, Cause all I know uh, is that I'm living on a promise, uh, a promise of the Lord. Uh, all I know uh, that I come to wait on Him. Uh, Cause I can't go through uh, yesterday's storm. Uh, I can't go through uh, yesterday's spell. Uh, but I gotta wait. Uh, anybody gonna wait on the Lord? Uh, anybody wanna wait? Uh, all I no, uh, uh, he didn't bring me this far uh, to leave me alone. Uh, uh, I got a word, uh, and I gotta get to it. Uh, uh, I got a word uh, because the Lord promised uh, it would be amen, uh, amen, uh, and amen. Come to tell you, it takes time. Yeah, we must observe where we are. Don't get so rushed in speed. But God is more interested in strength and stability than swiftness. Because swiftness, I believe, is a game play. We want the quick fix, the shortcut, the one spot solution. We want the sermon, the perfect seminar. We want the perfect experience that will instantaneously see God. See, let me tell you something. You got to understand. And the reason you can't have it right now and rush it, it was God that turned Satan loose. And he gives Satan time to catch up with you. To see what you're going to do with it when he catch up with you. Yes. Wow. To see if you're going to expel the presence of the Lord. Yes. Because Satan knocked on your door. Amen. Okay, he didn't send him. He yes. just gave him the opportunity yes. to come your way. Yes. To see what you're going to do with that with that boasting and bragging about how saved you are. And how yes. sanctified you are. And how many miracles you got. And how many miracles you done had. And how God has blessed you. As soon as Satan knock on your door, you don't know where God is. Do I have anybody? Either you got it or you don't have it. That's why I, I ain't so easy to listen to folks mumbling and grumbling and foolishness. I, I'm not, I used to be. Y'all done broke me at that age. I can't hear nobody. Y'all broke me of that. As soon as something hard hit you, I can't go to church. I can't sing. I can't preach. I, I can't do that. That's the time you ought to be preaching that sermon. You let that enemy know I'm better than that. I got more than that. This ain't no game play. This is the real deal. Yes. I am who I am. Yes. That God says I am. Yes. I am that I am because God says I am. Yes. Do I have an I am worshipers in here? Yes. Yeah, I am praisers in here. Yes. Yes. I am praisers in here. Do I have even one in here? Yes. 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 The devil come, but he can't win. Yes. I said the devil shows up. Yes, but yes. he can't get it. But see, but real maturity is never the result 
of a single experience or exposure. Mm. Anybody here? The Bible says our lives gradually become brighter and more beautiful as God enters our lives and we become more like him. I hear some of y'all saying, why, Bishop, does it take so long? <laughs> Although God could instantly transform you and I, yes. but has chosen to develop us slowly. Yes. Jesus is deliberately in developing his disciples, just as God allowed the Israelites to take over the promised land. Uh, little by little, so they wouldn't be overwhelmed. Don't you know if God came in here and he just blessed everybody and it was a million dollars? Mm. I've been supposed to be in church next Sunday. Mm. Mm. All right. Make it plain. I've been preaching to these chairs. Make it plain. Bishop, I, Bishop, I, I had had a vacation so many years. I, 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 I'm just going away for a couple of weeks and just... Oh. Be to myself. Okay, be to yourself. Right in church. I just start stay at home and take a few days off of work. Okay, off of work. <laughs> God wants to make sure that your heart is in his presence. Many of us are going through storms that we ordinarily wouldn't go through with. God cannot trust us. He wants to trust us. He wants you and I to benefit from his goodness and his mercy. So he says, it takes time for me to check you out. It's God talking. It takes time for me to check you out. See where you fit in. Because I remember some short storms you had I couldn't do nothing with you. I remember, I remember some small Amen. blessings I gave you, and you thought it was all about you. My God. Amen. And it wasn't even enough to take care of your future. Amen. And you thought it was all about you. All about. Yeah. I bless you with twenty dollars. You you couldn't even put two of in the offering. Come on, come on. But you get bills to pay. You don't pay bills with my money, says the Lord. <laughs> I can't hear no Amen. 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 Y'all getting strange with me now. Come on, Bishop. I'm going to sweat and humping and talking. Y'all are all, all into it. <laughs> I walk down your alley, you ready to climb on the other side. Amen. I hear you. Come on, Bishop. But it takes time. And you're still saying, why does it take so long? My God. Well, first of all, we are all are slow learners. We often have to relearn you know, a lesson or relearn or go back to a lesson a 40 or 50 times to really get it. The problem keep reoccurring and, and we think not again. I've already learned that. I've already learned this. But God knows better. See, the history of the Israelites allowed us to know how quickly we forget the lesson God teaches us and how soon we revert to our old pattern of behavior and that we need to understand God knows you and I better than we know ourselves. And you know why he knows you and I better than we do? He made us. He planned us. Secondly, why does it take so long? We have a lot to unlearn. Yes. Many people go to a counselor with a personal um, a relationship problem that took years to develop and say, I need you to fix me. All right, Vanzana. Whatever her name is. Yama. She said, Van Yama. <laughs> fix my problem. She got her own problem. Yeah, she right. Amen. She fixing problems because she making money. That's it. That's I can't hear nobody. Amen. See, if God doesn't fix it, Sister Christine, it won't be fixed. 
Oprah. You call Oprah or any of them you want to call. The God fixes it. Do you turn to God? There is no help for your situation. I, I don't care where you go. There is no help. None. Zero. You turn to God. God will fix it. Not only will he fix the problem, he'll fix you too if you let him. God Almighty in him. Yeah, I need you to fix me. You got the nerve to tell the Lord I got it out. Uh, uh, I need to expect a very quick solution to a long-standing, deep-rooted, difficult problem. And it says most of our problems and all of our bad habits didn't develop overnight. Yeah. You've been going through this for years. Come on, bitch. But you expect God to stop what he's doing and come see about me right now. Straighten it out. <laughs> yeah. no. Straighten it out. Yeah. If God hadn't put you in that situation, he'd be still unable to That's use it. you. That's yeah. it. That's see, right. see, see, see. Uh, preachers. God put us in some situations sure to slow us down. Sure Cause we walk around looking like a peacock. Thinking it's all about me, yeah. myself, and I. Yeah. God said, oh, 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 "That's not the way I ordered that." <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not the way I brought that here. Uh, I come to fix this situation. I come to fix this problem. Man. Just like it, the time it took you, Brother Gordon, to get to this point, it's going to take the same time plus some more to get you out of it. Because yeah. right. you've already told God that you want an instant fix. Mm. Uh, cocaine and reefer yeah. gave folks instant fix the problems. Right. But soon they ran out of money, they got more problems. Yeah. Because they began to steal folks' stuff to get the fix. I can't hear yeah. nobody. Yeah. Yep. Amen. I, I still believe you, you get that first fix and you spend a lifetime trying to find that same fix again. That's the enemy. That's the devil. That's the demon in the stuff you use. And you must understand that I can't turn my life over to the enemy any longer anymore because I love the Lord too much. And until you learn how to love the Lord, you don't understand why he takes time to develop you and fix you. Uh -huh. yeah. And see, many times God puts you in positions and you find yourselves trying to fix your problem because of other people. But if you turn and fix it because of God uh -huh, and learn to forget the other people, uh -huh, turn them loose and send them out to the darkness uh -huh, and tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you uh -huh, and I wait on you uh -huh, to fix my problem. Uh -huh, and make everything all right. Uh -huh. See, there is no growth uh -huh, without a change. Uh -huh. And no change uh -huh, without fear of loss. Uh -huh. And no loss uh -huh, without pain. Uh -huh. See, growth uh -huh, is often painful uh -huh, and even scary. Uh -huh. uh, there's no growth uh -huh, without change. Uh -huh. There's no change uh -huh. without the feel, uh -huh. and every change uh -huh. uh, involves uh -huh. uh, some kind of loss. Uh -huh. uh, you must learn uh -huh. to let go uh -huh. of old days uh -huh. in order uh -huh. to experience the new. Uh -huh. uh, we feel these losses uh -huh. uh, even of our old ways. Uh -huh. They were self defeating feeding uh, uh, because uh, uh, like a worn out pair of shoes uh, uh, you still holding on to them uh, uh, because you met Charlie uh, uh, in the old shoes uh, uh, you still holding on 
on uh -huh, to that old short dress uh -huh, because it was in a nightclub uh -huh, where you met your husband uh -huh, and you still looking uh -huh, to meet him uh -huh, in that old short dress. Uh -huh, what you better do uh -huh, is to take that stuff uh -huh, and tell the next class man uh -huh, I'll take the whole wardrobe uh -huh, because I love the Lord. Uh -huh, I'm not looking for the old anymore. Uh -huh. uh, I need the new. Uh -huh. In other words, uh -huh. uh, I need better uh -huh. than what I had. Uh -huh. uh, I need the power uh -huh. uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And I need uh -huh. the joy of the Lord. Uh -huh. And I need to know uh -huh. that I am uh -huh. uh, in the right place. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I need to know uh -huh, that I'm encouraged uh -huh, that it takes time uh -huh, to benefit uh -huh, uh, from the love of Jesus. Uh -huh, and I'm looking uh -huh, for the love of Jesus uh -huh, uh, in my partner, uh -huh, uh, in my wife, uh -huh, uh, in my husband, uh -huh, uh, in my friend. Uh -huh, uh, I come to tell you uh -huh, it don't work. Uh -huh, uh, until you find it uh -huh, in Jesus Christ, uh -huh, you don't know how to love. Uh -huh, you don't know how to be loved. Uh -huh, it takes time. Uh -huh, it takes time. Uh -huh, it takes time. It takes time to benefit from the goodness of Jesus. You want somebody to help you feel something you don't even have. Because you get the glory of God. Every time I think about the goodness. Every time I think about the love. Every time I think about the joy. It come into my heart and bless me. Huh? In other words, uh -huh, I don't want nobody uh -huh, to outlove the love I have for God. Uh -huh. I don't want nothing uh -huh, to outlast uh -huh, my love for Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. I don't want nothing greater uh -huh, in my heart uh -huh, than Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. It takes time. It takes time. You told the pain that you ain't have to tote. Let go and let God. I said, let go. Let go. And let God. Let go. Let go. Let go. My God. My God. You practice something over time. You get good at it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Reputation. Yeah. Your character. Yes, yeah. Joy of the Lord. Yeah. You learn how to focus yeah. yourself on Jesus Christ. Yeah. You don't have to worry yeah. any longer. Yeah. Yes, Lord. He'll bless you. Yes, will. He'll bless your business. Yes. yes. Say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For yes. putting me in the position that I'm yes. in. Yes. yes. Now help me clean up from around me. Yes. Come on, Bishop. Tell him, say, Lord, I can't do it. I need you to do it. Yes. yes. Lord, I can't get rid of these leeches. I need you to do it. Yes. <laughs> Lord, I, they just keep coming. Yes. Whatever's on me, they see God take it off of me. Yes. yes. I, I, I only need you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, God. And he'll do it. Yes, he will. Sister Gunner, he'll do it. He'll bounce you all over the place. If you give him yourself, baby. Yes. Give it to him. Give it to him. Tell somebody, honey, give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. The joy of your life in this place. I don't know about you. But I know the Lord. Finally, in this message where it takes time to get to the Lord, don't get in a hurry. Don't stop, stop looking. 
That's it. For a reason to get in a hurry. That's it, Bishop. If they pass you, let them pass you. That's it. Amen. All right. They, they, they may need more of it than you do. That's it. Yeah. You may not need as much as they need. Right. Stop. God, when you going to do it? Yeah, it's all right. God, I, I, I've been here for two days. Yeah, but you've been somewhere for 10 years. <laughs> Stop reminding God of his job and learn to be a servant. Yeah. Yeah. See, as you grow spiritually, maturity, and you mature, uh, there are many ways that you can get with God in the process. Mm -hmm. uh, believe God is working in your life even when you don't feel it. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Even when you can't discover it. Mm -hmm. Even when your answer is not there now. You have to believe God got this. Mm -hmm. See, when you remind the devil that God doesn't have it, the devil will play with you. Because you just released yourself to him. Mm -hmm. Either you're going to believe in God or the enemy. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to believe in God, you got to learn how to remain positive even when it don't look good. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, That's it. Right. Thank yes, good work. Thank you. Thank you. Don't remind the devil that you have a struggle. Tell me, it's all right. It is well. Yeah. Because what yeah. God has for me, it is for me. Yeah. Even if you come to my house, God gonna ship you out. That's it. That's it. Even if you come to my job place, God gonna dismiss you. Come on, Bishop. Because there ain't nothing here for you. Amen. Come on, Bishop. Spiritual growth, and I'm getting ready to close this message. Is sometimes tedious work. Hmm. One small step at a time. That's it. Expect to improve, expect, and know what the Bible says. The Bible says everything on earth has its own time and its own season. Aren't you a thing? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Y'all get upset when folks call you a thing, but <laughs> we all are a thing. That's what that's what a noun is. That's right. That's not right. <laughs> get upset. You about to fight somebody. Get mad. <laughs> but you are fighting. All right, Bishop. I guess it's all about the center structure. Mm -hmm. You're still a thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, everything it. on earth. Yes, read your Bible. I tell you. Yes, everything. There are seasons in your spiritual life too. Sometimes we have it short and we intensify and we we'll try to get our growth in the springtime. Everybody says, Oh, I'm going to do when the spring get here. And, and, and Sister Christine, as soon as the spring comes, we still complain. Birds just chapping away, right. trying to remind you of what you said that you're going to do this spring. And now you're talking about what you're going to do this fall. <laughs> Something in you is causing you to miss the whole full shower of blessings because of your stinking thinking. Birds and Robin are singing. Come on out here. You said what you was going to do to the yard. But soon the fall comes. You got to understand when you speak it into existence, God is standing right there. Yeah. One of the best ways to learn a lesson is to keep some kind of notebook or some kind of journal. That's it. That's it. Write it down. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Let's roll a diary. That's this is what I went through yesterday. Mm -hmm. So when you find yourself, you can go back and read it. You know what to make a left turn or a right turn. Because we as humans are so forgetful oh, of our storms and our struggles and our sharing and our caring. Uh, we must understand that God will teach you in time, even about your life and relationship and everything else. But there is a record that He keep Amen. on your goodness. Mm -hmm. Finally, we got to be patient with God and with ourselves. Yes, One of life's frustrations 
is that God's timetables is really the same as ours, but we don't understand ours. As long as God is keeping you, it doesn't matter about time. Hallelujah! As long yeah. as you survive yeah. to it, yeah. it doesn't matter about yeah. what time it happens. Yeah. 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 That's right. See, you may say I'm ready, but you may not be ready. That's right. God may have some greater people for you. God may be trying to get some people out of your way that you don't have to be exposed to. My God, my God. And he'll carry you through a season yes. to keep you. Yes. Because I, I don't want you exposed to these people here. My God. I want, I want to have a few more grade side services. Mm. And then I'll call you in. My I can't hear nobody. And God will keep you. Yes. Not only Queen will he keep you, but he'll keep you in perfect peace. Yes, he will. And get you to understand. See, see, we get discouraged mm -hmm. when things are not going the way we want them to go. My God. Uh, uh, when when Rebecca became depressed because he didn't think God was acting quick enough, God had this to say. These things I plan won't happen right away. Slowly, steadily, surely, the time approaches when the vision will be fulfilled. Yes, yes. It, it seems slow. Do not despair, for the things will surely come to pass. Just be patient. Mm -hmm. They will not be overdue in a single day. Yeah. Otherwise, a delay is not a denial That's from it. God. That's God says, I'm waiting for you to overcome when I finish the work I started. Stop going around trying to repay old debts to people that did you wrong. Let it go. See, if you're going to pay them back, who God going to pay? He's going to pay you. And you ain't going to want to check the cash. Get that out your heart. Hallelujah. You're still alive. Yes, yes. Whatever they did to you, they didn't kill you. Yes. You're still here. Yes. Let it go. Let it yes. And let God yes. tell somebody it takes time. It takes time. Come on and clap those hands. Yes. And tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us stand all over this house. Father God, we thank you now and we bless your name for this word, God. It takes time. We thank you for the deliverance in the house. God, we thank you for the sanctification. God, we thank you for breaking down many walls that you broke down on today. God, we thank you for allowing us to take a stand and wait on your goodness and your mercy. And God, I pray for every heart in the building, every soul in the building, God. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That every struggle be gone, God. I pray right now, God, that you give a spirit of waiting in here, God. Wait until I change so come. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I pray for every family right now, God, that you would deliver and set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Come on and clap those hands. Come on and clap them. Clap up to the glory of God. Yes. Yes. Clap up. Yes. Clap up. Yes. Clap up like you're losing your thoughts. Clap up. Clap up. Clap up. Clap up. Yes. You all just clap the hand because of no snow. No snow. We didn't have to slide around. We didn't have to slide through. We're still able uh -huh, to be in charge. We're still all right. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. God is good all the time. All the time. It's often time.